Hey guys, it's your boy, we back with more of all feature content and now we finally have the update details for the Herald of Thunder update or the January update, whatever you want to call it. So let's go and we have a bunch of changes, a few more changes to coming to the game modes and stuff that I did not talk about in the pre-update APK. Let's go through and let's see how we have. The Guardian superheroes have come forth to fight against the multitude of cosmic threats in Marvel Future Fight. The costume for the Herald of Thunder, fearless defender, agents of Asgard, comic storyline have added. Also, enjoy the original story chapters prepared by Marvel Future Fight. That's cool. Three uni new uniforms for Thor, Valkyrie, and Loki. Potential realization for 13 Asgard related heroes. 13. That's a, <laughs> that's a lot, man. Prepare for the next co new cosmic threat through the potential awakening and transcendent potential of Valkyrie and Heimdall. Although Heimdall does not have any uniform or anything. Along with the addition of the stories, the true shield and the future ends here. Various content improvements such as all skill upgrade function. Yeah, that's an improvement. <laughs> like literally. Improved hero chest and an improved uh, information pop up. And anyways, anyways. So we got the three uniforms. Let's take a look at the third uniform options and let's see if they buffed or nerfed or anything did that. So we still have the 15%, 15%, the cost is going to be 1050. The uniform changes are definitely critical. Chain hit damage by 10% and all damage received by 20%. Exactly the same as it was in period update APK. The 4 star passive applying the exact same 20% lightning damage. Then the third one, uh, the tier 2 passive is exactly the same as well. The first skill is same, second skill is same with paralysis of course. Third skill has the guard hit exactly the same. Fourth skill has, fourth skill actually has uh, the 20% HP recovery and a 35 and then we have, yes. It's still 0.6. It is still 0.6. So, no change in the accumulation. And then the first, uh, the fifth skill actually has the, I think, the same as well with the paralysis as well. So, the tier 3 skill now shows uh, paralysis and I think it also, yeah, it also has the 35% attack for uh, for one attack. So, which is, which is kind of good. Like, they did not actually even check or try to do anything with Thor, which is kind of okay. I think that the buff was really nice. So, we'll see how it goes. The Loki uniform also actually looks to be the same, I guess. We have chain damage 10% when attacking, which is great. 30% of energy attack from the 4 star passive, which is great. And then we have this uh, passive. Then the first skill is that. Second skill has burn and immunity, which was the same. Now, third skill has incapacitation. Fourth skill has that 50% warping all attack, so it has not been debuffed. And the fifth skill actually has burn, although it still does not show the hidden paralysis that is on the fifth skill because Loki can cancel... Loki can cancel the on the palace season because there are hidden palaces on the fifth skill. They have not. I don't know why they have not just. Uh, they could have just gone and just gave him that. Anyways, for Valkyrie we have this passive. I think exactly the same. Then we have uh, fifteen percent. So four star passive is same. The tier two passive is also the same as well. Then we have the sword two second skill. Well, it's a second skill. Why not first skill? Anyways, so we have the second skill here, which uh, I think is same. We have silence. The third skill now, uh, well, I think exactly the same for the accumulation. Uh, this accumulation is actually better than Thor. So, well, Thor could have gotten it, but anyways, it's good. Anyways, the fourth skill has all defense down and then stack up to 60%, which is good. And the fifth skill then has this good frenzy buff as well. Well, not frenzy buff, just a little bit of frenzy buff. Anyways, so basically she has silence and uh, actually paralysis on the third skill as well. So we'll see how it goes. So I'm not really sure how, like what they're going to do for the burn season for Valkyrie because she does, does not cancel. Maybe we'll have to switch play or something. Maybe Sif gets something in the period update APK. So we have no idea. Anyways, 13 new potential realizes and heroes. So a total of 13 hero destroyer. Thor, Jane Foster, Ulick, Fandral, Volstag, Hogan, Hela, Angela, Scourge, Himdal, Sif, Malekith, and Daisy Johnson will realize their potential through the January update. The following heroes can be upgraded to level 70. So yes, destroy with the level 70 might become a more of a threat to a lot of energy attack characters in the PvP, which we'll see. Jane Foster getting it, so maybe Jane Foster mid-month? Who knows? <laughs> Replacing Captain Marvel. Hela tier 3. Who knows Hela tier 3? Sif Awakening transcendent for because she will also she will definitely get a transcend skill because she also appears in the Hemdal and the Valkyrie Awakened skill as well. So we'll see how it goes. Then we have the Loki tier 3 skill added. So we have what was that? Do you want to know more about Loki tier 3? Check out this guide. No, I don't. <laughs> so we have silence on this skill, so it will cancel. And then we have the all defense down stack up to 70%, which is huge. Ignore target order by 80%, 80% chance to penetrate with everything, which is great. 12 seconds of invincibility. And then we have this beautiful, beautiful all attack, all defense frenzy buff. 
and then we have some good amount of damage and the uniform and the tier 3 skill sorry is amazing it looks crazy and then after loki valkyrie and himdal potential awakening and transcend potential so there we go exactly the same it's weird and stupid that they added bleed damage literally there's no burn damage there's bleed damage on the transcend skill like seriously but yeah all the both the tier 3 skill both the uh, transcend skill are exactly the same although i love it i love the animation how it actually looks like it's it's just so damn beautiful anyways new story the true shield the future and seer have been added so we have the original stories from marvel future fight enjoy the new stories based on the themes of shield and the ultimates only the alternative only the alternative mode is now available for the two newly added stories what only the alternative mode is available what do you, what does that mean only that okay so yeah we don't have the normal i guess yeah you can go for normal in the ultimate in the what is that the alternative mode or you can go the ultimate anyways the follow is so to complete to actually open up uh, some of these story missions for the shield the true shield you need phil colson level 70 daisy johnson level 70 Sif level seventy, Agent thirteen level seventy, and Nick level seventy. That are the requirements to unlock these story missions, which is crap. Which is totally stupid. Like this is one of the one of the stupidest moves that you could have made. I know that of course you need those are steel characters. That's why you want them to level seventy. But okay, Sif is getting a rework, probably a, a a uniform as well along with the transcend skill. Okay, great. Nick Fury is great. Why would anyone get Phil Coulson seventy, Daisy Johnson seventy, and Agent thirteen seventy? That's a weird waste of material right there. And the rewards are actually ISOs. I know the rewards are good as tier three materials and ISOs, six star and awakened, but still, dude, that's a lot of investment. And we just had the Sentry Epic Quest, which got everyone drained out already on resources. So I don't know. It's all your choice. Then if you want to complete complete now, fifteen hundred. Okay, thanks a god. Thanks a lot. We got rewards for completing fifty thousand. Oh my god, that's too much! Oh, <laughs> oh, dude, they are giving you fifty thousand gold for completing these. Are you crazy? Like really? Twelve thousand crystal to complete the future ends here. Future ends here is actually, actually even better. Actually, way better actually. Captain America level seventy, Iron Man level seventy, Black Widow level seventy, and Doctor Strange level sixty. That's great. Most people already have all of them. at where you want them but to be honest this like really daisy johnson uh, like if they do something you know like it could it could be possible that they might actually rework some of these characters agent 13 daisy johnson colson as well making them a better support with the transcend skill basically so there could be an option but still right now it's just too much it's too much i think uh, and the future ends here actually gives you way better rewards which is cards so yes why would you go there anyways So a fragment can be obtained as a clear daily killer reward. What? A fragment can be obtained as a daily reward in the True Shield and the Future Ends here. So we will get the fragment. No. Okay, it's a daily reward. So it's not it's not like hundred percent reward <laughs> unless you have all the tier three characters. Anyway, sorry about that. So we'll get that, and then we have these True Shield mission stories fragment one two three four story fragment chest and chest contains the tier three materials and the six star awakened ISOs and six star ISOs. So that's pretty good for the future ends here. We have three missions in there, and the chest actually gives you five to six star uh, five to six star comic card, which is great, and then tier three materials. Yes, I think. Titan components pack would be great to get because most people already have a lot more essence of dimension than actually the Titan components pack, which is kind of good. I like that that they actually added that. Now the alternative mode rewards for the existing story themes, dimension clash, and the all war has also been improved with the inclusion of tier three growth material. So I'm not really sure what exactly they have changed. So dimension clash all the all war normal reward level four uniform VXP chips changed to Titan components pack and says, oh my god so we will not be does that mean we will not be able to farm uniform VXP chips from there anymore that sucks though like you know dimension clash uh, fragment combined chest uh, component added essence of dimension two fifty Titan components two fifty okay we got these ones the all war fragment combined component chest then we have one twenty five here and one twenty five so. It's kind of good and bad at the same time. Like uh, it's good that they added the tier three materials, but we could farm those tier three materials in all other stories. I think they should have let the level four EXP chips. 
a lot of people use them so i'm not really sure it's kind of like a give and take check the information below about the new story clear rewards and first kill rewards so for the true shield we have first kill reward rank on black antimatter 50 non-stone of chaos 60 250k uh, gold and then we have 30 biometric selectors as first kill reward for the normal one non-stone of each type and then biometric of moon girl miss marvel kamala khan medusa and maximus now the true show ultimate uh, will give you 50 essence of dimension 50 titan components back cosmic Yo fragments 40 and 400,000 gold which is kind of good we'll see and then we have future ends here which is exactly the same for the normal one but yeah it just does not have the gold here it just does not have the gold also it gives you black panther america chavez and captain marvel values so it's kind of neat that they did that but also i think they should have let the old stories have at least added the missions added those rewards but kept but kept the uniform exp chips those are really helpful man i don't know why they did that anyways new season of future pass and a special icon so you can get the black panther of wakanda forever special icon from here which is like if you want to get it definitely you can get i think this could be an indication that black panther might be the next update or the next rework i should say of um, our future fight maybe who knows we'll see how it goes uh, for that one anyways and then we have the also there are special icons okay so i like the loki one loki one is my favorite right there look at that it looks so beautiful so if you want to get it i think those Loki might be available in the, yeah, shield here. So Loki will be available in the, when we get the mega tier 2 event, I think it will, it will be included in that. So that's cool. Then we have new uniform collection. Now again, one more thing that I would like to say, what the hell? Why did you guys stop giving us crystals for completing the collection bonuses? You now only give gold. You only now give gold. I, I have no idea why. We are not getting as many crystals as we used to. Especially not the players, like, of course, we... I don't know what they're thinking. Anyways, then, the hero rank of obtainable heroes from the hero free hero chest and the premium hero chest have been improved, which is great. I think this is a great improvement, to be honest. The free hero chest that you can get every single day, the free one, was supposed to be one-star hero only. And if, the, if you already have the hero, you will get eight bios, right? Now, it's three to six-star hero. I tried that on pre-update, and I got 48 once and 24 in the other ones. And that was a selector. So that was great. Uh, it's selector is still actually type based, whichever character you are, like. If you get a combat character, the selector will be combat type character. So that's cool. We'll see. And the premium hero chest, if someone buys it, it will be, it was three to six star hero. Now it will be five to six star hero or a tier two hero uh, from that chest. If someone gets that. Anyways, if you want to get that, that, that is definitely not the best way to go there. But of course, if someone is totally free to play, if they just want to try their luck and getting some premium characters, because then they can use the mega rank up at mega tier two to get them to tier two and maybe tier three, that would be good. But we'll see how it goes. It's definitely the free one is really, really a good improvement from the three star, which is great, right? So this is great. And this just shows you how many buyers you will get anyways. Uh, then we have a skill can upgrade be instantly to the maximum level just like I think what uh, just like the awakened skill now which is great transcendent hero names can be searched on the selector screen okay minor changes detailed guide will be displayed for the events that will end within three days okay so it will show you the red marker when it's ending so we don't forget about that attack defense HP increase buffs will be applied in timeline battle depending on the usage percentage of the previous season heroes the use uh, if the uses percentage of the previous series heroes is consistently low the applied buff tier will increase so basically the least you use current uh current season character the more buff for those characters you will get on the next season it's kind of like that so you're kind of giving and taking Attack, defense, and HP increase percentage become higher as the buff tier increase. So basically, maybe, oh, it's just one. So basically, the least you use, the more you get, basically. So the tier will increase uh, with the less uses. So basically, if you don't, like, if, if some sentry is not banned, okay. So you can use sentry, but instead of sentry, you're using silver surfer. So basically, you are not using sentry there. But when you go to the next season, you will get a buff for all attack, defense, and HP for sentry so that's kind of great that's kind of good we'll see how it rolls out i will give you guys more opinion about about that when a portal of hero yeah it's just not that it's just not important community tab update you can see the update here agent level growth score will be applied when a native tier 3 hero strengthens for each team thank you so much for that we did not get anything for sentry anyways 
remaining time until the CLP run and sold. Okay, displayed during a crystal consumption event, items can be acquired even though already ex exceeding the maximum amount that can be obtained, which is good. You can save more. The skills in Marvel Universe and previous are set to skill six, which is great as well. Uh, then we have a menu where the blur effect can be adjusted has been added in the settings option and i'm not really sure if that's the most important but anyways then we have some game error fixes which is not really like that so this is probably all for this one over uh, overall i would say a good update a really good update of course it will save you a lot of money as well because they are not really premium character involved anyone it's just valkyrie and it's just a uniform of course valkyrie if you want to upgrade the uniform you will need the uniform tickets or the bio sub to get the bio for valkyrie she looks good. I will share you guys more opinion about that. Overall, it does look like a good update and I will share my update summary on the other video as well. For that, although Thor looks good, Loki looks good, Valkyrie looks good, everything, a lot of things actually good looks good and this 13 characters looks good. The only thing that I hate from this update right now as, as the early opinion would be the requirement for the story unlock for that one. It should not be there. It's just too much and some of the characters are just useless basically right now in the game so maybe they could be useful later on but we don't know we have a bunch of stuff coming on they should have capped this i think a level 4 uniform vxp chips because we can already find the farm the tier 3 materials from other stories but anyways we'll see how it goes we have this fusion so it will save you a lot of things we got the story mission uh better chest so we'll see how it goes and i think this should be a really good balanced update we'll see how we roll out on the live update when it comes out. So let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what you think about the patch notes and the details. Do you have any questions? Comment down below. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and comment down below your thoughts on the APK as well. And if you think some things could have been improved, let me know in the comment box. And as always, if you like the content, I hope to see you again. Take care. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.